Hey friends, so I am putting up a couple little um, side tables here on the bed and I went ahead and I made these uh, little boxes and as they're going to be, I made a couple, one to go on each side and basically it's going to go right up underneath that headboard right here like that and it's got a couple, sh uh, I made a two tier so that way puts uh, clocks and stuff on top and remotes and then books or whatever underneath so um, so this little box was, I just took, uh, bought a four foot long, uh, one foot wide um, piece of board from Home Depot. And then I ripped it, or I cut it into 11 inch lengths. I uh, could have done 12, but 11 worked better for me. And then I just took um, these little pieces of board, were they about uh, two by by one or something like that or a half and I I think this is three quarter inch too but anyways I cut these into five and a half inch lengths I uh, just ripped uh, my table saw uh, four uh, for each one so and then I um, put these on top of each other drilled pilot holes uh, screwed those in there um, it's important to you want to drill a hole a pilot hole uh, just so especially this close to the edge so it doesn't split or whatever and then I actually took one of those little boring things so it makes a little spot where the um, screw head can be flush in there so that's kind of what I did with that these were a little tricky to get on there um, I basically uh, put this board down on the bottom and balanced these and then put this on top and kind of clamped it and then used my drill from there to do that but uh, kind of uh, wasn't super easy to do, but I managed to do it. Then we bought these, um, um, what are these called? Shelf brackets, huh, that makes sense for shelves. Uh, so I got two of them and I was gonna do two and I was thinking, well, these things hold 100 pounds. So I'm not gonna be doing pull-ups on these things. So just one holds 100 pounds. I'm thinking uh, just one right in the center is gonna be perfect to hold this. So um, should be plenty. I'm going to be anchoring uh, the bracket into the bottom of the shelf using these. I just have some bunch of screws in my uh, uh, workshop there. And then I love using these wall anchors because they're super burly and um, they work really good. So I'll be using these, three of these, uh, to anchor to the wall and then three of these to anchor to the bottom of my shelf and then we'll I'll be uh, making a video doing that real quick I'll show you guys how I did it and uh, just a little thing here these uh, are some husky shelves our uh, little uh, brackets or, or um, storage things that you can use but it's kind of cool that they stack on top of each other and they can pull out and um, just super handy if you have a bunch of little screws and stuff like that I got like a, it's I think it's like a 30 shelf um, thing and I got two of them so super handy with that anyways um, we're gonna be finding the middle here uh, getting this all centered and uh, put the screws in first and then we'll go attach this to the wall so let's get that done okay so we're gonna find the center so we can put this here also this is spray painted I just use a matte black uh, can of Rust-Oleum spray paint for, it's good for wood, metal, or um, plastic. So this is 11 inches, we're going to go five and a half and kind of mark that right about there. So right about here, and then I have a rafter square, and I'm just going to kind of go off the back here. It's kind of tough because this is tapered and then this is flat on the edge or whatever so um, just as long as we get it pretty close. It doesn't have to be exact exact but uh, as good as you can you know we don't want it uh, not to be straight or anything so I'm going to go ahead and just take my uh, screw here and uh, 
push that right in the center. And that's going to be our mark right there. Okay. Um, so this is, make sure this is the bottom. I tried to make the top, you know, the one with the screws are the, the, as flush as possible and stuff. A little bit less spray paint on the bottom here too. So uh, that's that. I think these turned out pretty good. And uh, let's see, so there's our mark there. And once you drill, once you get the screw here, um, then you have a kind of a fulcrum or whatever, so you can um, get it straight on the back part to make sure that's as good as possible. So I'm just going to drill a little hole here, and let's see. Okay, so you want to, with the wood here, I'm using, you can see that the screw is clearly uh, bigger than the drill bit. So I, I usually like to have the, the screw or the drill cover the, this main stem of the, the uh, screw and the threads are left to bite into the wood. So um, that's just my preference. So you want to make sure you don't drill through the bottom all the way through your wood here. So, you can uh, mark your drill bit with some, um, like a m magic marker or something like that, and uh, say, oh, I don't want to go past this mark, okay? Especially for drilling this three quarters inch, okay? So I do have a little leftover mark that I have on there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drill right here. This wood's really soft, so gotta be careful. It wants to go in there pretty good. So I don't even need to drill a pot hole in this. is pretty soft wood, but I'm going to anyways. There's that, and we're going to go ahead and get that screw in there real quick. You can see, okay, this lighting. It's off the right there, so. There we go. All right. there so this is kind of a I'm not sure where I got all these screws from but uh, these ones are I use these ones all the time and I like I like the square here because they don't I haven't had one strip yet as far as like when you're screwing it in so I'm gonna go ahead and put my screw in here okay, and I don't want it too tight I want to be able to move just a little bit too, so when I I can make this as, um, as close as possible to, to straight when I do the other side here. So I'll do measurement, um, make sure it's equidistant on both sides here. So there's that four and a half there. Two uh, more sixteenths, and that's about perfect right there. So that should be nice and straight. So I'm going to go ahead and just mark these two in there and put it right in the middle of your. Okay, now we just move this off to the right a little bit and drill our holes with the drill bit. Like that. And here we go. Alright, so remember.
bumper. Don't let it go in too far. We don't want to go to the bottom. Just like that. Okay. Try not to get too much stuff on my carpet here. Obviously, I'm going to have to vacuum anyways. All right, so we have it. I got two more screws. Go ahead and put that right there. Now, normally, I'd be using my impact driver, but down to one battery. I just ordered six more, so that should be good. Okay. That one in and our final screw right in the center there. Okay, and I checked. Um, also, you can check with your make sure like your screws um, aren't too long. So if you screw them down too tight. You don't want to, uh, sharp things poking through your wood. So this is three quarter inch wood. I already measured with the with the bracket included. It's not going to go through. Uh, unless you, I mean, I could sharp tighten it down real tight, and it might poke through. But I, I fit like indents into the wood. But I don't want to really do that. So this is just basically hold the bracket on there so it doesn't go anywhere. I mean, this, the shelf's already sitting on top of the. Uh, the bracket so this doesn't have to be like super tight you know it's not gonna I'm just gonna make it uh, just so it's nice and snug and not gonna fall off you know? but you don't have to get an impact driver or a cheater bar in your wrench or anything to make this like super tight you just want to make it sure, sure it's it's on there nice and snug all right so like I said this bracket's rated for a hundred pounds so it's not gonna go anywhere So there's that, that's not, um, it's gonna just attach to the wall right here. And as you can see, it's it's pretty pretty solid. So let's go ahead and attach this to the wall now using our wall anchors. And we are pretty much done. All right, my friends, here we go. So got this attached to the bottom. And I made sure this is already level, this headboard I put up, so that's going to be our uh, top of the uh, thing is going to be flush with that. If you don't have a headboard or something that you can put that's going to be flush with, you want to just get a level, um, draw a straight line or whatever, and uh, line that up with that. Or put a level on the top of the thing, you just want to make sure it's level. Um, so kind of nice to have this um, headboard here already. I'm just going to make sure this is flush with that on the bottom. Uh, now underneath, I have my wall mount. I'm going to take this pen and mark where the holes are so we can put our sheet rock anchors in there. So there's one. Make sure it is lined up how I want it. Okay. There's one. So, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. There's one here, one here, and one right there. Okay, so now, with these sheet rock anchors, I'm gonna go get my Phillips head screwdriver, one second. All right, so I like these wall anchors. They are super burly. I think these are rated for 50 pounds. Have a nice little point there, so you can put it right exactly where you want it and just kind of screw it in. So, uh, just like that, get yourself a Phillips head screwdriver. Find your mark on the wall that you made. So I have one here. I can put that my point right in there. Okay, and just kind of rotate it around, just like this.
the stud here. I believe. Yeah, so we have a stud here. Let's see if I have one on the other side here. So this will make it easy. I can just use the screws to just go into the wood here. Let's see if there is a stud here as well. I'm guessing probably. Yes, so stud there, stud there. So we got all studs. Well, if you have these sheetrock anchors, uh, they do work amazingly well, but not if there is a stud there. So uh, no problem. I'm just going to take these screws that they gave us and uh, screw those into the corresponding holes. Now, I might actually use a bit longer of a screw because I, if it's going into a stud, um, I want it to kind of go in there and have a nice bite into the stud. So uh, sheet rocks about a half inch. So. Um, I want this to go in a little bit further than that, just in case. I like to overbuild if I can, so I'm going to go get a little bit longer screws. Okay, friends, we're back. These are two-inch uh, wood screws indoor. Uh, actually, the same ones I use on the headboard. I'll just show you that real quick. So same, same kind. So hopefully these will be uh, the ticket that we need. All right, so make sure we got this up there again. Sometimes it's nice to have more than one hand, but you gotta make do with what you got. All right, so that's gonna go here. I'm gonna try to make it flush right here too. In there. Let's get that bottom one in. Bottom one's in, it's holding. Now, we get the other ones here. One, and two. tighten it so I know how much pressure is going on here. Okay. There we go, my friends. That's all there is to it. You know, it's kind of a longer video. Uh, just trying to be detailed in how I put this up there. So, um, as we can see, let's put some knickknacks on there and show you what it's going to look like. All right, my friends, so there we have it. Um, nice little side shelf here. You can put your uh, books here on the bottom. I got a little noisemaker, a clock, tissue box on top. Um, I'm still kind of debating. I don't really like the wires going around the side here. So I might drill like one of those uh, half rounds around here so the wires can just go down underneath and be hidden down there. Um, that's something else you can do real easy with a, like a doorknob um, drill and just drill like half of it and uh, do that and that way you can pass the wires down there. Um, I don't really like them going off the side like that but you can if you want to. I'm just showing you kind of what it's looking like here. So there is that. I think it turned out pretty good. goes with the headboard, a nice little black uh, color. You can still see the uh, 
Let's see if we look carefully. You still see the grain of the wood. I think it looks kind of neat. Actually, just one coat of the spray paint there. So, all right, my friends. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with me. Hope uh, you liked it. And uh, leave a comment below. Be sure to hit that uh, thumbs up button. I always try to respond to all comments. If you guys have a question or concern or a tip or something, let me know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.